A blueprint is a master plan that shows the business requirements in detail. It is the basis for any configuration activities that must occur before any transaction can be executed in the system. This is the first of a three-part video course that will show you how to configure your blueprint in Assistance PSA and create your project templates or WBS structure, your hour types and hourly rates, and your project types and status. This tutorial will cover the creation of your project templates or WBS structures in PSA. In Assistance PSA, a project template must be assigned to each project as it represents its work breakdown structure. A template will consist of project item groups and, at the sublevel, of project items to which you can also attach tasks. All your transactions are realized at the project item level. Hours, costs, and invoices are booked here, as well as your budget. You can create one standard template for all your projects, or create different templates for your different types of projects. But most importantly, you can decide on a variety of combinations between your project items, project item groups, and templates. Here, in this example, the project item group expenses can be found in two distinct templates and display the same project item. As for the project item group hours, it will consist of entirely different project items in each template. This flexibility will allow you to generate information from different angles and at different levels, up to and including all your project templates. Finally, one last example to show that you can also have one project item in different project item groups within the same template. Program management here being required in both the analysis phase and the development phase of your project. And this structure, of course, will provide you with a completely different view from the one shown before. Now that you have learned the notions behind the project template, let's take a look at how the configuration is done in Assistance PSA. To create a project template, click on Settings. And in the next screen, open the PSA Tables menu. The process is divided into three simple steps, each one corresponding to the creation of the respective components of your template. Let's start by defining the top level of your template structure. Click on Project Template and hit the New button. Now enter the name of your template. You can also, if you want, add a note. Once you are done, save and close the window. Your first step is now completed. You have defined your project template. Your next step is to define your project item groups. Click on the table and hit the New button. In this example, your project template will consist of four item groups. Enter the name of the first one, then click on Save and New. Now go ahead and create your second one. As with the project template, at this point all that is required is that you define each group by giving them a description. Once you've created the last item group, simply save and close the window. Now you can see your four new project item groups in the list display of your table. Your next and final step is the creation of your project template items. Click on the table and hit the New button. This level is where you will link all three components of your project template together. First, using the drop-down menu, select your project template. In the next field, specify a digit code for your project template item. This code will appear next to your item name and will often be the default sorting key of your items. Now select an item group. You can use the drop-down menu again or simply type in the first letters of your group name. PSA will display the closest match to your entry. Analysis phase is what we want. Click on the drop-down menu to select it. Finally, in the item name field, enter a description. The description can take up to 80 positions. At this point, 
you have given a name to your project item and linked it to a group and a template. Because the item level is where all your transactions are realized, hours, costs, invoices, and even budget, you will now have to determine some additional parameters. The first one is the active field. This field will set up the default value of the item when a project is created. If you leave this box unchecked, no actual hours or expenses can be booked on the item. However, budget amounts can be entered and if it's a fixed fee, you will be able to invoice the item in question. Note that PSA provides you with the possibility to activate and deactivate a project item during the whole course of a project, allowing you to control the entries made toward specific project phases, for example. Best practice will be then to activate and deactivate the item at the project level. You want this project item to be active. Check the box. The next field will identify the default contract type of the project item. PSA will support seven types of contract. Let's review them one by one. Select Time and Material Hourly Rate. With this contract type, PSA will calculate for each entry booked the number of hours spent times the hourly rate. If you choose Time and Material Day Rate, PSA will then calculate a full day rate regardless of the actual number of hours booked on that specific day. With a fixed fee, PSA will invoice the amount specified in the amount field that is now displayed, regardless of the actual number of hours booked towards the project. You can choose to enter a value here which will be copied to every project you create with this template. Or you can leave this field blank and define a value at the project level. Note that the value entered here can be overwritten at the project level. Expenses will identify, of course, an expense item. Notice the Expense Markup field now displayed. The value entered here will represent the percentage of markup to be applied to any expense booked towards the item. As with the Fixed Fee item, you can choose to enter a value here which will be copied to every project you create with this template, and you will also be able to overwrite this value at the project level. When you select Expenses Fixed Fee, PSA will invoice the amount specified here in the Amount field, regardless of the actual expense booked towards the project. Again, you can choose to enter a value here which will be copied to every project you create with this template. And again, the value entered here can be overwritten at the project level. The Products item will let you add products from the standard CRM product catalog to the project. And finally, if you select the contract type Recurring, PSA will allow you to create a fixed fee to be invoiced on a recurring basis. Here again, you can decide to enter a value as well as a billing frequency at the table level. They will both be copied to every project that you create with this template item. Now, for your first project item, Select Time and Material Hourly Rate. Once you've defined the contract type of the item, you will need to select a tax group and, if applicable, a ledger account. You have completed the creation of your first project template item. Now save the data but remain in the same window. There is one last element that you can link to your project template. CRM Tasks. In the left-hand side menu, click on Activities and hit the New Activity button. Next in the list display, select Task and click OK. Because deliverables are often due in specific phases of a project, PSA will allow you to integrate these milestones into your project template. And because of the full integration of PSA with Outlook, these tasks will also appear in your Outlook calendar and task list. One important reminder with regards to the owner field. Best practice will recommend that you create a user CRM administrator and that you select it for the original assignment of the task. This will prevent the task from appearing in your own task list. The real assignment to the team members being done at the project level. As for the due date, leave it blank 
it will be adjusted at the project level as well. All your project deliverables can be integrated into your template structure, ensuring a complete standardization of your projects across your entire organization. Once you have created all your project template items, you will see them in the list display of the table. This list will give you the complete view of all your project templates. It will show the whole structure of each template and the different parameters defined for each template item. If you have multiple project templates and want to look at one in particular, simply click on the function Filter and select the one you need. Let's display the template that you've just created. You can then click on a group or project template name and access further information. In your project template, for example, if you go to Projects, PSA will display the list of all existing projects to which this template has been assigned. You will also be able to drill down to your project from here. You are now ready to create your own project templates in Assistance PSA. Your next step is to execute the exercises defined in the lab Blueprint Project Template.